So now we want to find the center of mass of a region bounded by a function. So we're talking about something similar to what we did with areas, but we want to find the center of mass of an area like that. This is called a lamina. Uh, we're imagining that this is being cut out of some sort of uh, material of uniform density. So we're going to imagine uniform density here. Uh, and we'll even say that the density uh, is some value rho. Again, that's a constant in this case. Okay, so we know how to do point masses. Uh, we know that uh, for point masses, the x center of mass is the sum of uh, xi mi times the sum of mi. And uh, similar for the y bar, right, the sum of y i m i over sum of m i. Uh, but that's for point masses, and here we have a continuous function. And so the way we're going to work with this is by imagining chopping this up into a bunch of little rectangles like that. So this rectangle then has an area of f of x dx, right? Height of f of x, the width is some tiny little change of x, which means the mass of that slice will be the density times f of x dx. Again, that's the mass of that one little slice. So, given that, the total mass of the lamina, we can find by just adding up the mass of the slices, right? So the total mass uh, will be, actually I'm going to write it, uh, yeah, total mass, it will be just the integral of density times f of x dx. Okay? So now, let's think about these moments. Uh, so here we were adding up the x location of the slice times the mass of the slice. Well, let's think about this, sorry, of the point mass in this case. Here we have this slice. We know its mass. And really we know its x location. Its x location is given by x. And so this moment term, the thing that we're going to add up, will be x times the mass of the slice. And so in our continuous form, that numerator, the moment, is going to translate to the integral of x times the mass. So x times rho f of x dx. And again, that's the moment about y, that's the moment for the x bar. Okay? So, x bar then, x bar then will be this integral, integral from a to b, integral from a to b, and the row here is constant, so I'm going to pull it out, x times f of x dx, divided by the mass, again rho is constant, so I can pull it out, uh, integral from a to b f of x dx. Notice here that the rows uh, are in common and will cancel out. So we can actually cancel out those densities, so the density of the material doesn't matter, and the x bar will be found as the integral of x times f of x dx over the integral of f of x dx. Now, that's for x bar. For the y bar, things become a little more complicated. Here, we can just say x times the slice because this x value is the location of that mass. But with the y bar, the moment's going to change a little bit. So here the moment is a little trickier because this isn't at one specific y value. So the trick to it is, since this is a rectangular slice, it is the same the mass of it will be uniformly distributed, and we can imagine it as if it was a point mass located directly in the center, which would be at one-half f of x. So, when we calculate here, the y value of this mass will be one-half f of x. 
the mass will be rho times f of x dx integrated from a to b, which we can simplify down to one half f of x squared dx as the moment uh, for uh, the moment about x for the y bar. So, putting that together with our mass integral, the equation for y bar is going to be rho times the integral from a to b, one half f of x squared dx over the mass. And as happened with the x bar, the rows are going to cancel, and we'll just be left with this as the y bar, center of mass in the y direction equation for a lamina.